What's going on YouTube? Sham God here with another video for you guys. That's right, Sham God. That is one of the things I want to talk about today on this episode of the Rap Podcast. I think it's episode 7 now. Um, last week we talked about joining an esports organization and that being 100 Thieves as a content creator. And I figured not only because of that, but I've actually had a couple of people... Um, like one of the, one of my biggest supporters on this channel is my buddy Jake and his brother is a couple years younger than us and he's got a bunch of friends and he mentioned one time that it was hard for, like it's hard to search goody two shoes zero one four seven because I'm such a small channel and you have to type in the whole thing and it's hard to remember all four of those numbers for people who it really doesn't mean anything to obviously. I know the four numbers because it's my gamer tag and everything like that. But for other people, people aren't going to just search that. So um, I decided to change up the name of the channel, as you could have seen by now. And I decided to go with Sham God. Um, if you don't know what the word Sham God means, it means, well, it doesn't mean, but it's actually a crossover move that I believe Chris Paul, uh, not like patented, but it's one of Chris Paul's signature moves. It's called the Sham God crossover. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know what it is, go go take a look at it. Search it on Google. You'll find plenty of videos of him doing it, Kyrie doing it, a bunch of point guards do it. It's actually a really cool move, but I just kind of thought it was a cool name for the channel. I've been thinking about it for a while, just because Goody Two Shoes is kind of tacky and it's very hard to search for. Obviously, people aren't going to be searching for Sham God, but it's not something hard to search and um, yeah, so another one of the things is that I actually made a new PSN account, but I didn't get PlayStation Plus on that one because I already have PlayStation Plus on my Goody Two Shoes account. And today, actually yesterday, um, PlayStation Plus members every month get like five new games every month for free. And this month, they came out with NBA 2K16, the full game for free for PSN members. So I am a PSN member on Goody Two Shoes, um, but I'm not a I'm not a Play PlayStation Plus member on my uh, my new Sham God account. So that's why I, if I upload videos of me playing NBA 2K, that's why you'll still see the username as Goody Two Shoes instead of Sham God. Uh, but that's the only reason why, and I don't have to go spend 60 bucks to go get it. I'd rather just spend the $20 or whatever it is for PlayStation Plus and re-download it on Sham Guide if I had to do that. But there's really no point in it. Uh, but that's another thing I want to talk about is the whole 2K16, th 2K16 thing. Is There are multiple series that could come out of that. One being uh, My Career, which I started this morning. I downloaded the game and I, it asked you to start that right away. So I started that and actually got, uh, let me bring my mic a little closer, but actually got not very far into it. I completed the first three high school, the only three high school games, and then it asked you to choose your college, and that's right where I stopped. I haven't played a college game yet, so you guys really didn't miss much. If you do want to see that that series on my channel, if you want to see me make my take my player through the college rankings and then get drafted in, into the NBA, and make it in the NBA and progress and make my player better and better, leave a thumbs up on this video and comment down below that you do want to see that so I know that you guys want to see it and I can make them for you because I am more than willing to make those videos for you guys because it is a fun time for me. It's just whether or not you guys would enjoy the content. Also right now I am doing, and I'll upload a video of this soon, but I did a fantasy draft franchise so you guys will be able to see that. If you do want me to upload more of that. I wouldn't upload the whole game because I play 12 minute quarters and that would just be boring, a boring game for you. So I would just record, um, I would record the whole game, but I would only upload like highlights from the game and stuff like that. It'd probably be like a five minute video. Um, and I wouldn't upload every game. I would just upload maybe a montage of a week at a time per game. There's like three to four games per week. So I guess that could be pretty cool. If you guys do want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see that, I could also do another franchise mode where I am just a certain team. And like first, just for uh, examples, 
uh, my favorite team is the Cavs. So if I could choose the Cavs and just go through an entire season with the Cavs and just see how well I could do or whatever with an actual like decent team and see if I can make the playoffs and win the championship or whatever. Or if I want to do a franchise on there too, I could do that. So it's more than one season. Or also I could do like a my league thing, which is where you are like the head of the, um, I guess it's kind of, it's basically the same thing as my GM, except you can be more than one team. I think that's like the only difference, but I would be like the 76ers or the Lakers or some bad team and try and rebuild them. Um, that could be pretty fun for another series. And another possible series is that I could do a my team series. Um, that's really not something I want to do, but if you guys really do want to see it, I will do it. Uh, reasons I don't really want to do it is because I'm so late into the game that it would be hard for me to find a match um, against people who haven't played my team yet, and it would be it's just very grindy. It's in a very grindy game mode where you have to grind the cards and all that stuff. It can be fun if you start it right when the game comes out and actually get good cards and stuff like that, but at this point, I don't know that it would be fun. Also, it's pretty laggy online when you play people online, so I don't know if I would do online matches or whatever. I could do online matches against people who comment I'm, uh, comment on my videos. I could play you guys on PlayStation, play you in a 1v, not really a 1v1, but play you in a my team match or whatever, or even if you didn't want to do that, I could do another series where I do just like quick games against my subscribers or people that comment or whatever. But if you do want to see that, let me know and I'll figure out actual rules for that or what, not really rules, but things you have to, like guidelines you have to follow in order to enter into playing me or whatever. But there's just so many potential series that could come from 2K16 that I've already loved playing it already and I've always loved playing 2K. So if you do want to see a bunch of series from 2K, let me know down in the comments below on this video and upvote the ones that you want to see if they're already down there in the comments, whatever, or you can comment again, whatever, I don't care. Um, and look at all my comments, so yeah. Uh, let me know what series you want to see out of NBA 2K16, and I will gladly do that for you. I am, like I said earlier, I am going to be uploading an episode of the Fantasy Draft thing, just because um, it's going to be my first 2K video, I guess, and then I'll see what the feedback is on that. Um, other than that, there's not really a whole lot for us to talk about on the podcast today. Maybe we could talk about the NBA Finals, I guess. Um, I'm very... I don't really know what to say about the Finals because my Cavs are in the Finals, and if you have been watching the Finals, I would assume you have been or following them, at least if you are watching this sports podcast. Um, the Cavs are getting absolutely walloped by the Warriors. Now, granted, the first two games were at Golden State, and I don't know if that will really make a difference considering they got beat by 30 points last time. And tonight they're uh, in Cleveland. The one thing I don't understand about what Tyron Lue, who's the head coach of the Cavs, what he's doing is all the way from the first round of the playoffs up to now, he has played Channing Frye 20 minutes a game, 15 to 20 minutes a game, and he's been a huge spark off the bench. He's shot like 68% on threes in the playoffs. And he's just an absolute monster microwave three-point machine. And in the finals, he's played a total of like 10 minutes between the two games so far. He got like four minutes the first game and seven minutes the second game, I think. So like 11 minutes between the two games, which is not enough. He should be getting 15 to 20 minutes a game. And they're trying to match the Warriors playing small ball, but... They really aren't because they put Kevin Love in it at the center position, and he has been trash this series. Like, he has been awful. I am glad that he is out tonight for game three with his concussion. I mean, that's not nice to wish. That's never a good thing to wish a, an injury on a player, but it will be better. The Cavs will play better without Kevin Love because then LeBron and Kyrie don't have to worry about getting somebody else involved and making them feel like, they are involved in the team or whatever. They can just focus on themselves and pass to J.R. Smith, Channing Fry, whoever. I'm really interested to see who will start tonight in place of Kevin Love. If it'll be Richard Jefferson, because he's been good off the bench, or if it'll be Channing Fry, 
or if they'll move Tristan Thompson to the power forward and put in Timothy Mozgov to start because he played quite a bit at the end of last game. Yes, they were getting blown out, but he did play well in the in the end of that game. He was getting rebounds and stuff, and he would match up really well with Bogut. So I don't think Tristan Thompson would match up good with Draymond Green in the aspect of Draymond can step out and hit shots from the perimeter and Tristan can't really play that good of defense out there and you want him close to the basket for rebounds anyway. But he, he definitely would out, out rebound Draymond in my opinion. Uh, hopefully that the series hopefully the series does get a little more competitive. Just be just for sheer aspect of like the fans perspective. It's it's not fun for anybody to watch right now. I don't even like watching it and my team's in it. I I'll probably watch game three tonight, but if they lose, I won't watch game four just because they're not going to win the series and they probably won't even win that game. So who cares? On to next year, whatever. I don't want to make excuses for LeBron. I don't want to make this sound like um, LeBron doesn't have enough help because he. I think this might be the most talented group he's had around him, but I don't think it's the best group he's had around him because um, Kyrie... He he has the 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 mindset of being number one, and he he doesn't understand that this is LeBron's team and it's not his team. He wants it to be his team and not LeBron's, and LeBron is the exact same way. So those two personalities do not mix, and you've seen that all throughout this year and some of last year as well. People have blamed it on David Blatt that they don't get together. They've blamed that part on David Blatt, but it still happens with Tyron Lue. I think Tyron Lue is a good coach, um, and he will be good. But there's just a, a few things he needs to tweak, and I think the roster needs a couple adjustments. Kevin Love cannot stay. Uh, I don't want to put everything that's happened on Kevin Love because that's that's not what's happened. But he, he just doesn't – it's not a good fit for him. It's not a good fit for the team. He should probably go somewhere where he's the number one option or maybe the number two option where he can – where the team gives him the ball. They look to give him the ball instead of – just like he's he basically plays like a role player right now he doesn't play like a star he's not aggressive um, he's only aggressive when LeBron passes him the ball and then clears out or whoever passes him the ball and they all clear out that's the only thing he's aggressive because he knows he has to take the shot but I think that Kevin Love needs to go and if we can get somebody valuable for him that's perfect um, if not I guess they'll probably keep him since they paid him a ton of money in the offseason and one of the trade rumors that's been going around is Kevin Love for Kenneth Fareed. And I don't know if that's an actual thing. If it is, I would love that. I know that Kenneth Fareed can't shoot threes. But if I remember right, he, he has a decent mid-range game. And he's a pretty good rebounder. And just a very athletic guy. And I think he would fit well with, with LeBron and whoever else they have. That's another thing I want to talk about is another trade that has been very distantly rumored is Kyrie for Chris Paul with picks or whatever, whatever, but the, the main players would be Kyrie and Chris Paul would be traded. So Chris Paul would get to play with LeBron. And I think that would work perfectly because right now, Chris Paul is the number one. He's always been the number one, but Chris Paul is also a very willing assister and passer, especially when it's with LeBron because him and LeBron have a very tight, strong relationship. Um, they've been friends for a while. So, I would love to see Chris Paul on the Cavs, but I don't want to get my hopes up. I think Chris Paul, LeBron, and Kenneth, Kenneth Fareed would be a good big three. Uh, I think LeBron would benefit more from a better shooter at the power forward position, um, like a LaMarcus Aldridge, but he's gone now, so I don't know. A lot of people, I actually was talking to my dad about this the other night, Kevin Love trade rumors, and he was like, well, what if, my?" first of all, let me preface this by saying my dad hates the NBA and doesn't enjoy it at all. So he was like, well, what if the Thunder signed Kevin Durant this year to a max contract and then they trade Kevin Love and somebody else for Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant goes on the Cavs? And as much as some people might think that sounds like an un an unstoppable duo between LeBron and Kevin Durant, it would not work at all just because of the whole thing I already explained with Kyrie and LeBron, how they both want to be number one 
And that's kind of what the Thunder have right now is Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant are both number ones, and they they don't mesh. They don't know who should shoot the final shot when. Um, it's just it's very difficult. You have to have the right personalities, and that's that's the thing I think a lot of people don't understand is that it's not all about talent. Personalities need to match need to mesh as well. Um, and that's a big thing with the Cavs this year, I think. And I think yeah. that's why they're struggling right now is just because of all the personalities and stuff. Also, I don't want to take anything away from the Warriors. I think the Warriors are definitely the best team in the N- NBA. I almost said NFL. The NBA, and they are on a completely different level than the Cavs. But I thought the Cavs could at least keep it a series. A lot of people picked the Cavs in 6 and 7. Some people picked the Warriors in 6 and 7. But it's looking like the Warriors may be in four or five now, um, which is unfortunate as a Cavs fan. But I'm not. I don't want to be complacent with LeBron because he's going to run through the Eastern Conference for the next five years, unless Kevin Durant comes to the Eastern Conference, which I don't see happening. But um, he's going to run through the Eastern Conference with no problems and make it to the finals, and then keep losing in the finals for the next five years or so. I would presume, which is very unfortunate um nobody's nobody wants to see how many losses would that be if he went for the next five years nobody wants to see 10 losses on lebron's uh finals record they don't want to see two and ten they don't want to see three and nine they don't want to see four and eight maybe some people want to see those numbers but i definitely don't and basketball fans in general don't it's just it's just disappointing to see his talent not go to waste, but the talent that he has for a championship um, roster go away, I guess. He doesn't, he needs the right teammates around him, and that sounds like a very poor excuse and a very LeBron thing to say, but it is what it is, and I guess we'll find out how things go tonight, and I guess that's basically all we have for this week on the Rap Podcast. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been your boy Sham God, and I will see you guys next time. Shh.